Good morning, everybody. I'm Deaconess Intern Claire here at Holy Shepherd. It is Tuesday, April 23rd, and it's time for a daily devotion. Um, we are in chapter 10 of Leviticus, starting with the first verse. Aaron's son, Nadab and Abihu, took their censers, put fire in them, and added incense, and offered unauthorized fire before the Lord, contrary to his command. So the fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. Moses said to Aaron, this is what the Lord spoke of when he said, Among those who approach me, I will be proved holy. In sight of all the people, I will be honored. Aaron remained silent. Moses summoned Mishael and Osaphan, sons of Aaron's uncle Uzel, and said to them, Come here, carry your cousins outside of the camp, away from the front of the sanctuary. So they came out and carried them, still in their tunics, outside of the camp as Moses ordered. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons Eleazar and Ithamar, Do not let your hair become unkempt, and do not tear your clothes, or you will die, and the Lord will be angry with the whole community. But your relatives, all the Israelites, may mourn for those that the Lord has destroyed by fire. Do not leave the entrance to the tent of meeting, or you will die, because the Lord's anointing oil is on you. So they did as Moses said. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons are not to drink wine or other fermented drinks wherever you go into, or other fermented drinks whenever you go into the tent of meeting, or you will die. This is the lasting ordinance for the generations to come, so that you can distinguish between holy and the common, between the unclean and the clean. And so you will can teach the Israelites all the decrees that the Lord has given them through Moses. Um, so we see kind of one of those like very abrupt endings to individuals within this passage. Um, and it seems kind of jarring off the cuff. Um, some people's first response when they see something like this or read about it and kind of like hear this story is that, wow, God doesn't really seem to be actually taking care of his people if he is consuming them with fire. However, um, as we see even within the book of Acts with um, Ananias and Sapphira, when you do something outside of what God instructs and do it so that you are um, either reaping benefit for yourself or you're attempting to reap benefit outside of what God has instructed, the um, consequences are not particularly desirable. So Ananias and Sapphira, of course, are those individuals that um, when collection for the early church was being taken up, they said that they had pledged everything that they owned, um, which sounds like a wonderful thing. However, they had kept a pretty significant portion for themselves. And it's not that God wants um, Ananias and Sapphira to bankrupt themselves. It's the fact that they were so dishonest with their fellow brothers, with their fellow Christians, and that they so blatantly sought kind of this elevation in their own status in the name of the Lord, which of course is never what you're supposed to do. Um, and of course, the only thing that we have here in the death of Nadab and Abihu is that they did something outside of what God commanded them. And as sons of Aaron, they are acting as the priests for this tabernacle that they just constructed. They had practically all of the craftsmen within the community contributing to this effort. And so the fact that they did something outside of what God said was just the biggest no-no one could really step into. Um, and so Moses kind of makes this clear. He reminds his brother like, hey, this God said that you aren't supposed to do this. Um, everyone is watching you to figure out how they are supposed to act and how they are supposed to um, conduct themselves within God's presence. And this was not what you were supposed to do. And this was not what your sons were supposed to do. Um, and we see that Aaron kind of stays silent. So we kind of wonder whether or not, um, as a father, he had the chance to correct his children or if he had guided them down the wrong path to begin with. However, the only thing that we can know for sure from this section particularly is that you are not supposed to step outside of God's um, restrictions for any other reason ever. 
Um, there's never a good time for you to think that when God has laid out clear instructions that yours are better. <laughs> um, so it's, again, while it is sad, and Moses even reminds Aaron that um, Israel is allowed to mourn for these two souls that were um, consumed with fire, as it says, um, we aren't supposed to be stuck on this idea that it is the only thing that will happen. We are supposed to follow God's word. We are supposed to follow the outline of what he gives us, and that is what they didn't do. So with that, let us pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Um, well, today at Holy Shepherd, we will have Ladies Bible Study at 1 p.m. Tomorrow, we will have Youth Night at 6 in the evening, um, and Thursday we will have Mahjong at 10 in the morning, followed by the last session of this um, class of Grief Share at 7 in the evening. Um, those are all of the announcements that I have, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday.